I'm Kenzie Fitzpatrick with Wideners.com and I'm here to talk to you about how to learn how to aim with iron sights, a skill every gun owner needs to know how to do. If you're a new gun owner, be aware that this does take practice and lots of patience. How to aim with iron sights. Even many veteran gun owners struggle with mastering the technique of shooting with iron sights. But since most firearms come with factory iron sights, it's a good idea to learn how to use them properly. Understanding how to sight in a target is the first step in successfully aiming with iron sights. Precision accuracy is achieved by correctly aligning the sight radius of the firearm. The sight radius is the distance from the rear sight into the front sight. Pro tip, the longer this is, the easier and more accurate shooting the gun will be. So you actually want a longer sight radius for a more accurate shooting gun. Now rifles are built for precision shooting at distances because their sight radius is longer than that of a pistol. Types of iron sights. There are two main types of iron sights, open sights and aperture or peep sights. An open sight is any form of a rear sight that features a notch. An aperture or a peep sight has a circular hole as a rear sight. Aiming with an open rear sight. Rear sights come in many shapes and forms. There are rear sights that are shaped with a U cut out, a V shape, the bottom half of a square, or the bottom half of a triangle. With each variety of rear sight, the principles still remain the same. However, each rear sight may take some time getting used to. The front sight should always be positioned in the middle of the rear sight and always align across the top of the rear sight so the front sight is not higher or lower, it's not shifted left or right. How I like to remember it is equal height, equal light when you've got your sights aligned. This is true no matter what, if your front sight is square shaped, round, a dot, a triangle, any funky shape. This is the one principle you know to be true when you go to align your sights. Aiming with a rear peep sight. A rear peep sight will be a round shaped rear sight that you will look through to find the front sight in it. Now, the post front sight will be centered through the rear peep sight where the top of the front sight is the length of the radius of the circle or half the diameter. So think of this as circle, and a post centered up in the center of that rear sight. This is a more difficult sight alignment as there are no indexing points to ensure your front sight is centered through your rear peep sight. This does take a little bit of trial and error with a lot of practice to aim properly. Aiming with a rear peep sight and aperture front sight. The sight setup includes a rear peep sight that is still round shaped with an aperture or a hole as the front sight. The correct sight alignment for these sights is centering the front aperture sight through the rear peep sight. The circle of the aperture should be equidistant from the circle of the rear peep sight. The correct sight picture is easier to see as your target is centered in the aperture front sight with the rest of your aim lining up from there. Aiming for accuracy. Aiming is a process of achieving the proper sight alignment between the rear sight, the front sight, and your target. Several factors contribute to achieving consistent accuracy when learning how to aim with iron sights. The number one rule of shooting with iron sights is the front sight focus. Everything else comes secondary. How to aim with iron sights. Here's an easy step-by-step -step guide on how to aim with iron sights. Step one, sight alignment. Sight alignment refers to the proper relationship of the pistol's front and rear sights. The perfect shot starts and ends with the perfect sight alignment. With open iron sights, the perfect sight alignment is where the front sight is at an equal height of the rear sight with equal light in between the front sight and the rear sight. If your rear sight has a dot on the left side and the right side, and your front sight is a dot as well, all you have to do is line up these three dots across the way and make sure they're all at the equal height. If your rear sight is V-shaped, but your front sight is circle-shaped, the front circle should be centered in the V and not be any higher than the top of the rear sight. Sight picture. Proper sight picture is obtained when the aligned sights are put into their proper relationship with the target. When lining up your shot, always lead with lining up your front sight on where you want to shoot on your target. Your eyes can only focus on one thing at a time, so your focus will always be on your front sight. Start by putting your front sight on the bullseye or the spot you want to shoot on your target. Next, put your sights into the proper sight alignment. Focus your eyes on the front sight so that everything else is blurry. You should be able to maintain the proper sight alignment and picture while focused on your front sights. Now you're ready to pull the trigger. Breath control. When learning how to aim with iron sights, breath control is important and can affect your shot greatly. Our bodies are never at rest, making it difficult to aim, but it's not impossible. 
Controlling our breathing and learning when to shoot while breathing is key. Take a breath before each shot. Let out enough air to be comfortable, then fire the shot at the most relaxed moment when you're at the stillest. The best way to see when you're most relaxed is to attach a laser to your gun to visually see the amount of movement you have. Always avoid holding your breath as this actually can cause tremors and will deplete your oxygen levels. This can actually result in poor fundamentals and lead to poor target hits. Hold control. Hold control allows the shooter to maintain proper sight alignment and sight picture while firing the shot. This is why pistol size and weight is so important when learning how to choose a gun. Similarly to breath control, the goal of holding the gun as still as possible is to minimize the arc of movement so the sight picture or the sight alignment doesn't alter. When aiming with iron sights, any movement or lack of control you have in these steps will actually move your sight alignment and your sight picture, which in turn moves your shot. Trigger control. Trigger control is the proper method of activating the trigger to minimize movement that can misalign your iron sights. The proper trigger placement is between the fingertip and the very first joint of the index or trigger finger. The only movement when you're aiming and firing the gun is moving your trigger finger rearward and making a smooth trigger press. If you pull the trigger with the tip of your finger or your first knuckle, you will move the gun left or right, which will cause the front sight to move and move that shot off your intended target. So be sure you have the right trigger placement when you pull the trigger. Follow through. Follow through is what happens after you pull the trigger. Too many beginners make the mistake of skipping steps just to shoot faster and they lose their fundamentals quickly. When you're following through on the shot, you're keeping a great shooting stance. You're still focused on your front sight. Your grip is still correct and every fundamental is kept intact. Speed comes with time, but accuracy is earned with learning how to aim with iron sights. Hitting the target. One of the biggest lessons new shooters often miss is seeing and assessing where they are shooting in relation to where they are aiming. Every round you shoot with your practice ammunition should be something that you learn from. So go assess your target, figure out where you're shooting and what you need to improve on to make the shots better. When you start shooting at an advanced level, you'll know why you missed your target before you even see the shot. Good shooters assess their shots and make corrections to improve to become as accurate as possible. When you look at the target after firing your first shot, do you stop and see where you hit it? If you hit anywhere other than the center of the bullseye, do you know what went wrong in your shooting process? Did you pull the trigger with your first knuckle rather than the pad of your finger? Was the front sight too high? Were you looking at your target rather than focusing on the front sight? Did you hold your breath instead of breathing through the shot? Every single fundamental goes into aiming a gun. Once you read your target, assess the shot, recalculate, retry, always learning from your shooting. Adjusting the rear sight as needed. The most important lesson in learning how to aim with iron sights is the iron sights may still require sighting in. Everyone's vision is a little bit different. Sighting a gun into your eyesight may take up much of your time on your first trip to the range. Shoot groups of three to five shots to understand where your shots are grouping. Then see what adjustments you need to make to your iron sights. Some rear sights are only adjustable for windage, which is left and right, while others can be adjusted for elevation up and down. If your rear sight doesn't come with an adjustment tool or a dial to move the sight in a specific direction, it may require a sight pusher tool to move the rear sight left or right. You could check with your gun store or maybe your range to see if they have one of these tools available to use. If you're shooting to the right and need to move the shots to the left to be more accurate, move the rear sight to the left. You always move your rear sight in the direction you want your hits to move in. Similarly, if you're shooting low and need to raise your hits, move the rear sight up or in the direction the shots should be hitting. Aiming for success. Once your gun is sighted into you, you should never have to readjust or move your iron sights again. Always repeat every step when taking aim and firing a shot. If you're having difficulty setting up your sight alignment and picture, you may need to purchase aftermarket iron sights that you can see and pick up more easily. Okay. One sight never fits all in the firearm industry. Customize your gun to your eyesight and enjoy your favorite firearm of choice. How accurate are iron sights? Overall, iron sights, when sighted improperly, are accurate as far as you can see. Masters of iron sights can accurately shoot out to a thousand yards and beyond but it does take switching stock iron sights to specialized diopter and aperture sights. While shooting stock iron sights out to 200 to 300 yards may be doable, remember that your barrel twist, barrel length, 
and type of ammunition you use are all factors when you are looking to shoot with precision. Your groupings of shots at one target will determine how precise you are at a distance. There's advantages to using iron sights. For example, the weight. Most iron sights do not add very much weight at all to the gun, when scopes can add several pounds to the overall weight of the gun. If you're looking to build a light build and not wanting to shoot very far, iron sights are advantageous over dots and scopes. The other thing with iron sights is they're very durable. They've been tested and used for years through many world wars and have endured all conditions. Many red dots and scopes can't say the same. Iron sights are made to be durable. Iron sights are also low maintenance. Many scopes and red dots require batteries to light the optics. Anything with a window will also require proper cleaning, such as wiping down the glass, applying anti-fog cream, and continuous upkeep to maintain a clear view of the optic. Iron sights typically require low to no maintenance at all. Iron sights are also cost efficient. They're normally very cheap or most firearm manufacturers include them with the gun, so they're very cost efficient. Red dot optics and scopes are something you typically buy after you buy the firearm. The more durable and accurate ones are going to have a higher cost and sometimes they can cost more than the guns themselves. Disadvantages to using iron sights. Targets at a distance. Since being accurate at a distance with iron sights requires you to see your target, the disadvantage with iron sights comes when you start to stretch out to higher distance targets. Red dots without magnification are also a disadvantage to seeing farther targets, so a scope that has a magnification will win in long range target acquisition. Iron sights are also less adjustable. Some iron sights that are built into the gun or only attached to say a Picatinny rail are not always adjustable for wind and elevation. If the sights are not adjustable, it's difficult to sight the gun to your eyesight. The last thing with iron sights is they're hard to see in low light conditions. It's helpful to have an illuminated scope or a red dot that you're able to see in low light conditions. When you can't see your iron sights, they're pretty much useless. Upgrading your iron sights to night sights can give you more aiming flexibility in low light situations. When learning to shoot a gun, always try and master shooting it with iron sights first. And if you can, Keep your iron sights on the gun, even if you mount a red dot optic or a scope. You never know when they'll come in handy. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow for more tips, gun reviews, gear reviews, and more coming soon from Wideners.com. And don't forget to go get loaded up on ammunition.